Hey, how's it going, everybody? Mort here, and today we are back with more Vampire. Uh, pretty much picking up exactly where we left off. Uh, you'll notice a couple changes is that I'm now level 15. Uh, I did run back uh, all the way back to Pembroke. Uh, I upgraded Jonathan a little bit, so now um, when I bite someone, I do 400% more damage. My ultimate attack does like 720 points of damage. Uh, I have more health, I have more stamina. I upgraded uh, one of my pistols, so it's actually going to do stun damage, so I can try to stun Mary, then bite her to inflict more damage, because my blood attack's not going to do fuck all. I tried upgrading the shotgun, I did not have enough material, which sucks, because I would love to get the incendiary rounds for this fight. Um, pretty much, if I fail again, I'll... Uh, Maybe I'll go run to another vendor to see if I can find the uh, the handle parts I need. Cause that's all I need. I'm just the handle parts. It's kind of f fucking dumb. That's all I need. And hopefully she doesn't one hit kill me this time around. If the cutscene starts, I will be skipping it. I don't need to see it again. Help me. You killed me, brother. No, it didn't. Okay. Ah. Go this. Ah. <laughs> ah. Stunner. Oh, I can't. Just gotta put the work in. What have you done? Are just to die. Move, 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 John. Come on. Ah! Fuck. Shit, the goddamn priest. Just hoping to save him. Ah! You left me to rot in this grave. Ah! Ah! See, that does fuck all to her. Mostly just kind of waiting for my, uh, ah! back. Ah! <sighs> Kin Slayer! Will you fuck off for the kin Slayer? Come to me, Jonathan. No, I'm good. You're kind of fucked in the head, so. Oh, fuck, you resisted that, you fucking asshole. The countdown to get that back is so long. Kiss me nope. again, sweet brother. Nope. You fuck right off. I apologize for it. Oh god, come on. There's only so much I can fucking do. Sucks, I had her down and then she ate the stupid priest. I should have eaten the priest. Now you got no way to fucking heal, do you, bitch? Just you wait, you whore. Because you spared Sean Hampton, don't expect the same mercy from me! Were you friends with Sean? Oh. Rest in oh, that peace, monster. I'm just fucking uh. waiting there at 22 seconds at this point, not gonna lie. Uh. Oh fuck, here we go. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Get her. <laughs> Trying to get out of her fucking 
against stupid roses. Yes! Get her. Come on. Yes! Goodbye, sweet Mary. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. I don't think she cares, bro. You just kind of stab her in the chest. At last. I can forgive you. sister for a bit there are you am I supposed to walk oh yeah I am okay would have liked to know could have said hey time for you to uh, start shuffling I don't know why I had to control that. shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. 
That's, um, that was kind of an odd cutscene. That's like a cutscene you'd expect at the end of a game, setting up a sequel. <laughs> not, not whatever the fuck that was. The flower's dying. It needs water. Yes, I know, but I don't know how to water the fucking thing, because you won't let me transfer water over there. Sorry, I'm just gonna look that up. I'm just gonna, just gonna look that up on, uh, on the Google. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you have fatigue. You have anemia. You have a headache. I don't have a fucking headache here yet, do I? No, god damn it. Oh, I do have a cure for anemia. Okay. Um, the only thing I can't cure is the one dude's headache, which sucks balls. Oh wait, what was that? Hey! Love to know where I get the fucking cure for the headache. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, gotta get rid of that marker. Wait. So there's an event here. Oh my dear god, there's events everywhere. Holy shit. Alrighty, I guess we'll start in the hospital. So let's uh, figure out what that event is. Yeah, she, she has a I, I can't cure a headache. I don't have that fucking cure. Might have to uh, look up where that is. Event, event, event. No. Seem just a spiffy. Well, you have anemia. Check and cure. Oh, that means something like special, right? Like something's like something's going down. Nothing's at his post. Perhaps I should have considered the open for my mechanic. Oh look, it's Clay Cox again. Oswald has a migraine. You have a cold. Jesus. You people sicken me. Well, I'm, I'm honestly not seeing, like, where the event is. Should I just talk to Lady Ashbury? Or Doctor? Oh, it's Dr. Swansea. Alright, well, we'll talk to Ashbury in a second. Let's go let's go have a chat with good old Dr. Swansea. What's up? Jonathan, old chap. How are you tonight? I've seen little of you of late. I was conducting research in my room. Away from the nightly routines. Of course, of course. Worry not, I understand. The situation has been testy around here. I won't deny it, but we still stand. Okay, so... I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the Lady's Mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is, nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain.
Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. All right. Thank you, Edgar. We shall speak again later. Is that it? Was that my event? Did I... Okay, cool. All right, so I know where to get the cure for headache now, because as I was uh, talking to Crane, I looked it up. Basically, I have to go uh, talk to Nurse Dorothy Crane. Seems I, I, I did a good keeping her alive. Because uh, she sells it. I, I mean, if you... If you don't keep her alive, you can just get it off of her body. Which I guess is technically the easier way. But... Hideout. Whitechapel. Yeah, you're Dorothy Crane, I believe. Merchant. One of you is Dorothy Crane. I'll find her. Let's get her run to right. Well, just have to run to Whitechapel real quick. I know what I said before about not doing so many side quests and yada yada, but like... Fuck, sometimes there's just... Jesus, that thing was r fucking right from... Oh god. Okay, so what I'm seeing is you guys are fucking everywhere. And there's no easy way past. I really wish I invested in an invisibility thing in this game. So there is one. Best be moving on. I am actually just going to wait, Chapel, real quick. See them goes. This one's a top. Put an end to you. Yeah, pay no attention to me, guys. Uh. Oh, Just trying to get some fucking aspirin. Oh, I don't want to fight skulls right now. Come on. The fact that I fucking have to do this is kind of tiresome and annoying. Okay, good. Oh shit, you're still alive. That's kind of surprising. The wet boots will be proud of me. Sure they will, champ. Keep telling yourself that. Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Ooh, you're a snake oil salesman, basically. I know that. Um, Dorothy's place is like through here, isn't it? Really? I have to knock? Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. Could have just. Could have just let me fucking walk through the door. Don't need the. Uh... Oh, you have pneumonia? Let's, uh. Let's cure that for you. You want to talk to Dorothy? We've not been formally introduced. I am Darius Petres. I don't care about any of that. Do you need some help, Mr. I am very tired, but that is. Well, I think you do. Three drugs from an English. Goodbye, Mr. Petres. There we go. I'm doing my part. Now this one is Dorothy's house. Is yes, the clinic? Yes. Fuck the district status here is serious. God damn. I guess start healing more people and ah, fuck. Dorothy. Welcome back, Doctor Reed. Good evening, nurse. How Dorothy is all right. That's fine. What can I do for you? Let's just trade. Show me what you have in stock, please. Hopefully it's not expensive, because I can't afford expensive stuff. <laughs> Steady blood sample could be good. That's probably for stamina. I assume. Um, this is what I need. 
Can I afford this? Yeah, I can. I can afford it all. Alright, cool. Good doing business with you. So, now that I've acquired the cure for a headache and the next uh, blood sample, but that will give me uh, more stamina syringes, or like better stamina syringes. There we go. Um, we are going to call it an episode here. And we'll continue on. Um, I don't know if we're going to go right to Lady Ashbury. I might go check out some of those uh, events that are happening. Just because I don't know if they're going to be important or not. I have a feeling that I fucked up when I was talking to the vicar before. Uh, might have been made the fight with Mary slightly easier. Possibly. Um, I know we should probably go check on Sean Hampton's area. Because he's missing. So I'm thinking letting him live was a huge fucking mistake. <sighs> God damn, trying to be a good vampire in this game is just a pain in the ass. Cause like, I'm getting fucked over basically. <laughs> I'm weaker than I should be. Um, choices I've made have had some fucking dire consequences. Ugh. But and and anyways, we're gonna we're we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. Leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. That's it for this one. I will catch you in the next episode, and thank you all for watching.